It's not what it looks like, I swear. Ah, oh, yes. Things are dangerous, not only for your health, but for your limbs. I'm going to duplicate a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. We mean duplicate. I'm going to make it vegan. Let's go to the drawing board. Oh, hello, students. Today, we are going to dissect the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Are you ready? Excuse me, you in the back? Yeah, you? Pipe down. Pipe the fuck down. All right, so peanut butter cup. Components, wrapper, peanut butter, and chocolate. This is what goes into a peanut butter cup. However, these are not vegan. How do we make it vegan? I thought you'd never ask. How does it work? We're gonna need cocoa butter, cacao powder, vanilla, salt, and maple syrup. Mix it all up, you get chocolate. So we have to take this out of the hot water, let it sit on the counter and see if it hardens up a little bit. I'm gonna put it in the fridge because I think the reason it's not thickening up is because this bowl is just way too hot. So this peanut butter is not really runny. It's kind of hard, kind of like chocolate, but like crumbly. So I propose that we use real organic, natural, only peanuts, peanut butter, and then to thicken it up a little bit, we mix it with nutritional yeast. And then I'll give it that kind of like granular consistency and thicken it up a little bit so it sits right in the middle. All right. It's exactly like the peanut butter in a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Now I'm gonna put it in the fridge just to harden it up a little bit so it's easier to mold and stick in the middle of our chocolate. So it does harden up, so that's good. The fact that it's runny right now doesn't really matter. So let's get this into our molds. And to help them keep their shape, we're gonna put them in one of these guys. Spoon some chocolate in here. So let's just plop the peanut butter in there. So it looks like we're going to have to cover it with more chocolate. Now let's put this guy in the freezer and see what happens. Let's see if it worked. Oh, come on. So it's leaking out the bottom, which means it didn't really work. So besides the like leakage happening in the bottom, um, the sides are ribbed like a regular peanut butter cup. And the top is really flat. Like it looks exactly like a peanut butter cup. It's just leaking. Back to the drawing board. I have another idea. First, we had the chocolate and we floated the peanut butter in the middle and it sunk to the bottom. But when I took it out, the chocolate was hard. So this is what I propose. This is a cupcake liner. We put chocolate in the bottom. We put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes till it's hard. Then we put peanut butter in the middle. So I put the peanut butter in the freezer as well. So you can kind of like mold it like this. It's kind of like a Play-Doh. Put it back in the freezer for 15 minutes till that's hard. Then we coat the rest with more chocolate and then we'll put it in the freezer for about an hour and it'll harden. And then hopefully the peanut butter will be enrobed in delicious vegan cruelty-free chocolate. Let's go try it. Do you want to find out if they worked? If there's no peanut butter in the bottom oozing out, it's a success. Look, on a scale of one to 10, it's a 10, like me. So I've proved to you that you, yes, you, you can make your favorite childhood snack vegan. I wanna know what you want me to make vegan next. Leave me a comment below of the big thing that you don't think can be made vegan, and I'll try my hardest to make it vegan. Stay classy, internet.